Aries, hi, welcome to your reading for October 2020. Time has been flying lately. I can't believe how fast time is going. I started these horoscope readings in, what, July? It is now October. What is actually happening? So I'm going to change up these readings again. I was waiting for my second traditional tarot deck to come. And it's finally came. Um... So I'm going to be looking at your current situation, past, present, future energy, outcome, and clarify if needed to with my other deck, with my other traditional deck. And then we're going to finish your reading off with a fortune cookie from one of my fortune cookie decks, okay? So again, it is a bit different. I thought I'd just try it a bit different, you know, and um, see how we go. So let's see what you can expect between now and the first half of October 2020. Know that this may not resonate with all Aries people. So take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Please also take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share my little channel and help it grow. I would really appreciate your time and energy. Thank you. Cards are just flying out, so that's good. You've got some good, good energy coming out, Aries. Maybe going through a time of healing. But you've got some good... Whoa, they just flew out all, everywhere. I need to readjust this because you guys can't see. And there we go. Now you can see, look. Beautiful. Might just move it over a bit. Sorry, I didn't realise you couldn't see. That's the fun part about doing all this. You never know. You can't see, can you? All right, future energy. Thank you. I feel very calm doing this reading, Aries. So I feel like you're going through a time of great... Um, like you've been through a situation and now you're okay. It feels like complete calm, okay? So let's have a look at the current situation, temperance. So as I said, I felt very, very calm and now you're at this stage of your life where you have, you're in this beautiful balanced time. Like you have no problems or maybe you have problems still in your life, but you're not letting it affect your day-to-day -day runnings of your life and you're not letting it control your beings. And your well-being so in a sense you're in this place this beautiful headspace of being calm collected having this beautiful tempered life and just flowing and taking day things day by day and um, really not letting the past or the situation you know, the heavy burdens annoy you or bother you anymore it's a really beautiful energy to be in temperance is so and i feel like you've put a hard a lot of hard work into getting into that state so for the Past energy, you've got the Magician, Three of Swords, and Six of Cups. Okay. So a lot of you have spent the past manifesting, going through a heartbreak, and really trying to manifest someone from the past back into your life, or trying to heal completely from this heartbreak. I feel like a lot of you wanted a future with this person, um, you tried and tried and tried and put a lot of effort in and you really didn't know, you know, where to go or where to take it. You were trying to manifest them back. You were trying to get out of this state of loneliness, out of this heartbreak, out of this feeling of being down and burdened and horrible and it wasn't a nice headspace to be in. But you got the Six of Cups as well. So you're really trying to manifest them back, trying to heal your heart trying to make them complete again. You really are wanting this person back in your life and you're trying hard to manifest them back into your life so you don't want to be in this heartbreak and loneliness and place of, you know, horrible, horrible limbo, not knowing what's going on. You're trying to manifest them back. Six of Cups talks about walking back to the past, fixing the past, repairing the past. Maybe you've learned your karmic lesson you needed to learn by being broken up with this person. And now's the time to, um, now that you're in this beautiful balanced energy, this beautiful tempered energy, you're now in an okay place to reach out to this person finally. And, you know, your heart chakra is healed. Your throat chakra is open and ready to communicate. 
and you're ready to bring them back into your world in a sense. For the present we have King of Wands, yes, beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, okay. So starting off with the Knight of Wands does talk about taking this action that we were just talking about. Um, Wands is always take it, so this could be dealing with a fire sign, so another Aries, Leo or Sag. And King, Knight of Wands is one step away from the King of Wands. So you're taking that positive um, step towards this person. You really want to take this step towards this person, reach out to them. And you want to bring this beautiful, balanced relationship. You want a second chance with this person. You want this person back into your life. You want to take the energy towards them and the action towards them. Wands is all about taking that forward forward motion energy and really going for it really taking those steps to bring this person back into your life you want this beautiful new start with them you want a beautiful balanced relationship you want to stay independent and headstrong and you want to bring this beautiful balance and energy back into the um, relationship you want to walk away from the past you want it to be a beautiful balanced relationship there was obviously deceit and trickery in the past or someone cheated or you couldn't let go of the past this is showing up. This is at the forefront of your mind areas. You're like, why can't they get over the past? Why can't they walk away from the past? Why can't they walk away from what's happened in the past? Or why can't I? Remember, energies are flawed. It could be yours or theirs. Take it as it resonates. One of you can't let go of the past. One of you can't move on. You're still lingering in this past energy. And until you get this out of your head, until you let the past go, you're not going to be able to take this action towards this person and have this beautiful balanced relationship that you desperately seeking that's why temperance showed up as the opening runner of your reading as the current energy because you want to take this action towards this person you want this beautiful balanced relationship but you can't until you clear this um, seven of swords energy until you get rid of this trickery this horribleness the stuff of the past is holding you back you really need to let go of the past to in order to bring these two into fruition okay to take the action you need to take towards this person to have this beautiful balanced relationship you need to let go of the past you or they need to let go of the past remember you can only control yourselves you cannot control anyone else so if this is you aries holding on to the past and holding you back from taking the the action that your heart desperately wants you to do the action that your heart desperately wants you to take to have this beautiful balanced relationship with this person from the past who is showing up clearly in your reading still look they're still in your heart six of cups returning to the past they are still in your heart and on your mind but in your, the forefront of your mind is this deceit and trickery aries if you want someone let them know if the past is holding you back from communicating with this person or being with this person you need to take that action and clear that deceit and trickery before you can take this positive action towards them and have this beautiful balanced relationship once again, okay? Clear message there about what's happening in your current situation. For your future... Oh, that's so beautiful. For your future, Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, King of Cups. Shows that you are going to take a practical, common sense um direction when it comes to this relationship in person you're really going deep within going into your heart space clearing your mind space and you, it shows that you are going to do the work to get rid of this deceit and trickery you are going to cut out stuff from the past and i feel aries this is more you than your other person because it's showing up on your side on your reading you really have to let go of this past and in the future it shows that you're just going to do that you're going to forgive you're going to Forget the past, you're going to move on to enable you to move into this happier, healthier headspace and to be able to walk again once with this person in happiness. Taking a sensible, no-nonsense approach forward to this person. And two of wands, taking wands, action again, fire signs. You really are going deep within. There could be travel, so you could be separated from this person and you need to travel a distance to get to them. But you are showing up as, you know, wanting to go on that road of discovery and wanting to rejoin with them and go ahead with them in the future and take them by the hand and just say, baby, let's go. Let's do this. You're the one that I want. I haven't got you out of my mind. You're still showing up all over my reading. 
I want you, let's come together, let go of the past and let's do this. And now look, beautiful King of Cups, full of emotion, ready to be vulnerable, ready to take the leap of faith, ready to jump back into this relationship after a talk, after letting go of the past, letting go of the past, allowing your heart to be happy once again and moving forward in this connection. That is such a beautiful, happy energy, Aries. And look, outcome card is your queen of pentacles. You know this person's for you. You know she's this strong, independent woman that you're seeking. You know she's the yin to your yang. You know she's worth waiting and fighting for. You know she's worth letting go of the past rubbish for. You know she's the one for you. The one you want in your heart, soul and mind. She is the one for you. That is your outcome. Your queen is waiting for you. Go and claim her. Wow, that is such a beautiful reading. Um, we haven't even need to clarify anything. So I really feel that it's a good reading, Aries. Person that has been in separation for a while. You have wanted to be together and now you're coming out of your, if it's like you're waking out of your coma, finally seeing the light, finally letting go of the past and allowing yourself to be together as one. Okay, your fortune cookie from my fortune cookie deck is a dubious friend may, may be an enemy in camouflage. A dubious friend may be an energy in camouflage. Two meanings for this. Either you have people around you who are in your ear telling you how no good this person is and you're listening and you're agreeing and you're trying to take it in and you're thinking that's the right thing. But in your heart, when you go to sleep at night, you know this person is on your mind you know this person is in your soul they're in your soul and there's no letting go of that you know they are the person for you that's why you can't move on from this person that's why you eat drink sleep eat drink sleep and think this person so that's one meaning you have people around you who are filling your head full of nonsense or this is just yourself your mind playing tricks of you your mind telling you you know i can't let go of that past i can't i can't i can't guess what you can it's gone look easy as that once you change your mind frame once you think with your heart space and not your head space once you make the decision to do that watch the actions take place watch your life go forward look how happy you can be finally letting the past go getting back to a positive head space getting back to your relationship getting back to your happy space planning your future together having your happily ever after and not letting it affect you again knowing that you're not going to bicker about stupid things in the future or that stupid heartache or nonsense come in between you and your person again, you know? This is another thing saying, wake up, get out of your coma, start living, get this person back, start living your happily ever after once again, okay? Clear message there, Aries. You know what you need to do. You know what steps you need to take. So take it as it resonates. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Good luck for October and getting your person back. Bye-bye.